Ba-ba-bum. All right. Hello, everyone. It says that I am live. Can everybody hear me? How is the audio? Do I need to turn it up or is everything good? Just gotta make sure. Alright. Hello everyone. Shit. Okay. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hello, Rinse! I recognize you. How is my volume? Can everybody hear me proper? Oh, thank you. The fit is slaying, not gonna lie. It's banger. Hello to everyone as you're getting here. All right, great. If uh, if I need to turn it up at any time or something, then let me know. Uh, I am gonna start the music here, so uh, make sure to let me know if it's too loud or too quiet or whatnot, homies. Or if it stops, because sometimes my tab will just stop loading for some reason. I don't know. Um, so let me know if it's too loud or if it's not loud enough. Is it alright or should I turn it down? I just ate pizza a little bit ago so I feel a little bit like, a little bit full. Oh, too loud, okay. Noted. Thanks, Ted. Here's more, like, negative 28 decibels. Okay. Hopefully it sounds better now. <laughs> Maybe we should have reconfigured this before I began. I thought it was fine. <laughs> because I did not change the settings since last time, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's weird. Okay, that's good. Good. Okay, sick. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me just- wait, hold on. Maybe it's because I, like, recently, like, replugged in my mic. Let me hit it up a couple. Is that too loud for my voice, or is that, like, just about right? Let me know. <laughs> just, it was louder, I think, before. I don't know. If I'm speaking kind of quietly, I kicked it up a little bit on the mic itself. Let's see if that works better. Hello to Eli. Hopefully that's how you pronounce that. I'm assuming it's Eli. Hello. Okay, good. That's better. <clears throat> All right, boys, so I'm just gonna be drawing and chilling. Uh, feel free to ask me uh, questions and whatnot if you'd like to. Um, or just kind of chill out. You know, or I could just, like, talk about whatever. I don't know if something comes to mind. I'm mostly just gonna be kind of drawing, so I don't know if I'll be talking a lot unless people ask me quite a bit of questions. I haven't done line art on stream for a while, so you guys get to watch me struggle through that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud of the the pose on this one. Uh, I I didn't know if I would be able to pull it off. I, I like looked at the reference and I was like, I don't know. But then I think it turned out pretty good, especially like the angle of the face. I thought I was gonna have more problems with, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Spiderweb Joy, H indeed. Uh, from loop-sided uh, file fillet. Or, or Freya, 
Hi, do you like gorillas with a Z? Do you mean the animal, or is there like a band or something, or like a game or something called gorillas with a Z? Because I'm not sure what you're referring to. But if you're talking about the animal gorillas, then yes. They're cool. Thank you, Rinse. I also think the pose is awesome. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the pain of lines. <laughs> okay, appar apparently, <laughs> apparently it's a band. Nope, don't know the band. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Tem sent me a photo of one of their albums. I've seen this photo before, but I have never heard any of their songs. I've seen the album, like this album cover before, or this, yeah, but I've never heard any of their songs. So, don't know if I like gorillas. <laughs> I love just being an out-of-touch boomer. That, <laughs> that's my everything, truly. <laughs> I'm a boomer at heart, man. <laughs> uh, from Zoot Boots. Hi, I love your art so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Big Preesh. Uh, from... I'm gonna assume that you just go by Freya. Feel free to correct me if not. Uh, they say, I love your art. You gave me the courage for art trading. Uh, that's that's cool. I hope the art trades have been going well for you. I can't re recall if I gave advice on art trading in a video or not. Beca because I have some advice for art trading that I learned when I used to do. I don't do it anymore. Don't ask. But uh, when I used to do it, I have some advice for people that do art trades. And I can't remember if I talked about that in either of my videos about art, like, art trade experiences that I've had. <laughs> but I have advice if you- if y'all want- want it. I normally don't do advice, but that one's kind of important to me because I-, I I'm very, uh, passionate, I suppose, about artists getting proper compensation for their work, so, you know, one of my things. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Kalia? Kalia? I'm assuming it's Kalia. Or Kalia. Thank you. I guess since I'm here on stream, I should probably be like, sorry for not uploading for a while, girly pops. Um, I don't- I don't have any videos that I want to make at the moment. <laughs> PBH. Uh, I'm kind of- I'm kind of taking an informal break, I suppose. I think this might be longer than the one that I actually, like, planned on being a while. LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's just like- because remember, I took one in, I believe, De December, November, something like that. <laughs> and then I and then I uh, came back, I think like a month and a half later, when I planned to be gone for longer. Uh, but I I just I like I had some video ideas that I want to wanted to make, I think, and that's why I came back earlier than I had originally planned. But like now, I'm just like I don't have any video ideas to make, and then I ended up with. A fucking fuck ass uh, has been hotel hyperfixation against my will, so now I can't do, do or think about anything else, and I don't have video ideas, so <laughs> that's what I've been dealing with. Um, okay, back to reading chat. This is gonna sound so random, but have you heard of slash Reich, like uh, Rise of the TMNT? Uh, I just, it's just a big brain rot of mine right now. I actually haven't seen it, though my sibling is watching it, apparently. Like, he, he's checking it out currently. Uh, 
he's like only like one or two episodes in. So I was gonna ask him like what he thought about it um, after it was done, but I actually don't know anything about the the teenage mutant ninja turtles at all because I didn't grow up with it or anything like that. So um, no. <laughs> um, from. Um, Daijin, Daika Blaze, do you like the boondocks? No. Because I haven't seen the whole thing. I remember I saw the, uh, like, I saw, like, the first couple of episodes, like, several years ago, and then I didn't like them and never returned, so. <laughs> I have not seen the boondocks, so I can't make a proper ass uh, assessment on its quality, sorry. <laughs> um... From Strangeland Creations, do you got any tips for recording audio? Not really. I'm not, like, an audio expert, and I feel like that's very obvious in my videos. I would just recommend looking up, like, tutorials for that, because I am not informed and not great at audio myself. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> oh, from Tem. Weren't you going to make a has-been video, one that you didn't nullify by talking about the topic in a past room? Oh yeah, I was going to make a has-been video at one point, but then I realized it would be a lot of work because I realized that if I, like, talk about it as much as I want to talk about it, this it's probably going to be, like, an hour long. And I don't want to make an hour-long has-been hotel video right now. <laughs> my, my depressed ass. <laughs> I can't handle that. Uh, though I probably will make one at some point, uh, I probably have to watch the show a couple more times and take notes. I, I, I'll probably have to do that. <laughs> but I might make it sometime in the future. Uh, I think if, if, like, my next video will likely be the, the, uh, the freaking, the, the video about the iceberg. That's probably gonna be the next one when I finish all of those movies. Probably it will come out in, like, two months or something. I don't know if I'll make a video in between that, but, like, I, I know I do actually want to make that one, because I have, like, so much to say, you know? I could go on- I could go on about that iceberg for so long, and I probably will. <laughs> so, I could- I could talk about it for so long. Um, from Spiderweb Joy, have you seen the MLP Infection AU? Uh, I've seen, like, uh, yeah, I've seen it before. I've, I've seen, like, some art of it, but I'm not, like, into it, so I don't know if there's, like, lore. But I have seen seen a lot of the uh, art of it, and I think it's sick. It's really cool. Speaking of MLP, like, holy shit, I actually haven't watched MLP in, like, several, several years. And I've been thinking about revisiting it for a while, because I only ever saw up through season five, I believe, as a child. Uh, so I've never seen past season five before. <laughs> Um, from Zoot Boots, out, out of nothing but pure curiosity, are you familiar with Chawny Jash? Nope. Uh, hello from Sora from VRC. <laughs> Jeremy, just joined what the fuck is happening. Uh, I'm just talking about video stuff and people are asking me questions. Um, from Best of Ant, how do you love your stuff? By the way, do you have any recommendations regarding what platforms are great for posting OCs, kind of dark story stuff? I've been try trying to write more complex stuff and wanting to improve. Um, I would say, uh, like, if, you if you're looking for just posting OCs, then Toy House is the best way to go. Uh, but Tumblr is also good, uh, and DA is also good. Um, but I would recommend Toy House if you can uh, get a code for that. Uh, if you don't already have one, because it's it, it not only can you post your OCs and make like full fledged profiles for them, but you can also up upload like uh, like uh, stories and and whatnot for them. So, you know, pr pretty good hub for OCs. That's where where I'd recommend. But you can basically put it on any platform except for like Instagram, I suppose, because <laughs> Instagram is not that great for art.
ain't getting this. Not gonna lie, homies. Think I've been think I've been getting better better at uh, line art as of late. Not gonna lie. People always ask me how I do it so smooth, and it's like I just I just use the regular pen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any line art tips. <laughs> I just have very smooth line art. That's kind of like a, a style thing, I suppose, that I have. It's part of me or it's Don't steal, it will. <laughs> Yo, I'm drawing rot. You know, I drew this whole thing as, like, for a shitty meme. I was gonna put the text, like... Like, yeah, I have BPD, big penis disorder, and I was gonna put it on this as a joke, but then it actually turned out good, so I'll probably, like, post both versions. Like, one without the shitty meme text on it. <laughs> um, Zoo Boots. Uh, ah, uh, CJ, or Chani Jash, is, like, a cover artist, basically, to clarify. He changes the lyrics to, uh, tell different stories, and I think it's pretty neat. I think he has some original songs too, though. Okay, that's neat. I don't actually draw rot that often, uh, mostly because I, for some reason, I have like a thing about drawing my sonas. It's probably because I always associate drawing them with like making thumbnails, and I fucking hate drawing thumbnails like so much. <laughs> And also, I, I remember when I first made Rot, there was, like, so much art that I had to do with him, um, to, like, uh, like, re- like, re- uh, redesign, like, like ch channel aesthetic and stuff, so I had to do so much art of him, and I was so tired of it by the end. <laughs> Hello to Vinny! Welcome. Welcome to the stream. You can hear my gorilla typing. <laughs> oh, hello to Loot Gremlin! I've been waiting for you actually. Somehow you always make it to, like, every stream, I swear. I really appreciate it, <laughs> not gonna lie. Love to see the homies.
Oh, um, Blue Gremlin, LMAO, I got free time all the time. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Uh, the perks of being jobless. I decided I do not want to work again until I can get, uh, go to bartending school because I just, I want to be a bartender. I, I, for the longest time, I wanted to be, like, I wanted to go to college and get a proper education and whatnot, just like my parents always wanted me to do. But I was like, eh, no, I don't want to, actually. I realized that I really don't want to. I want to be able to, you know, just do what I want when I want, and I feel like, you know, just having a simple bartending job would be more conducive to that kind of lifestyle than, uh, most other things. I also like alcohol, so, like, that's cool. I would like to be surrounded by alcohol all the time. That's sick, dog. Also, like, bartending is just neat. So, uh, I, I do not plan on getting a job until that happens. <laughs> Uh, I really did not like school. I, I was I kind of grew up being the makes me sound super egotistical to say this, but being the quote unquote gifted smart kid, and all my teachers would be like, "Oh, you're gonna do you're gonna be a doctor when you grow up, oh, girly," and I was just like, "I don't okay," and I just kind of thought that I should be, but then I realized, oh well, I actually really fucking hate school. It's not for me. Like, I would just, like, walk into the college building, like, last year or whatnot. I would just, like, walk in and be like, Man, I really want to kill myself. <laughs> and you ever just, like, walk into a building and you're like, Wow, suicide seems great. <laughs> That's how college felt. <laughs> it was so funny. It was like, you cross over, cross over the threshold into the establishment. And it's just like, oh, <laughs> just hits. <laughs> Which is really funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, um... Uh, I did work at Walmart for two years, though. Yeah, that's me, with- from Rinse, right, holding a bottle of alcohol. I just think it's neat. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I did work at Walmart for two years. I got the job when I was 16, in August of 2020. And it sucked, and I hated it. Um, I I just really don't think that being autistic is conducive to customer service, not gonna lie. I don't like this. It just really wasn't conducive to doing a customer service job, TBH. It was very overwhelming, and frankly, I'm kind of a violent little, little cuck, so I'm out here just thinking about all the ways that I could murder someone. Well, while I'm- while I'm helping them. I was a cashier, right? So people would be rude to me and I would just be like- I would just cope by being like, I'm thinking about disemboweling you right now. Okay, hold on. I, I was- I was talking. I was I'm typing. <laughs> um... 
Not gonna lie, you can Im you can imagine me just. <laughs> you can imagine me just thinking about killing people. That's been my coping me method since I was a child. I would just sit and think about murdering you in horrible ways, and that was it. It actually helped a lot. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, it helped a lot. I think I have reference. What the fuck shape is that one? Okay. Okay, girly pop. I- I strive to be iconic. <laughs> Do I? No, I don't. No, I fucking don't, actually. That's a bit. I don't strive to be anything. <laughs> I don't strive to be anything but myself, truly. I guess if I was gonna do something that wasn't bartending, I mean, I, the reason why I want to be a bartender as my career is because I can make art outside of it, and basically what I want to do is exactly what I'm doing now. I just want to make art, uh, and write fanfics, and be a little freak on the internet. Uh, and maybe, maybe if I, maybe if I suddenly have some inspiration, I want to be an author. I've always kind of wanted to be an author since I was a child. Uh, I feel like that's clear in how I write. I, I smell like an English major through and through. So, <laughs> uh, truly. Writing has always been kind of one of my passions, so... I, I find it very fun. I'm, I think I'm technic- I don't know if you can, like, objectively measure skill at things, but I think of myself generally as a better writer than artist, but that's like a maybe. I, I don't know what other people think. If- <laughs> But, uh, but, you know, I, I, I like writing a lot, so I just want to be a bartender so I can do what I goddamn want. <laughs> yeah, mental illness gang, yeah. <laughs> From Rinz, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah the the fucking art heart in the corner bro Jasper Days, you gonna drop the AO3 user? I'm assuming you mean username, cause uh, genuine, uh, genuinely now I'm curious. Um, Sweats, um, how old are you? Because I have two different AO3s. <laughs> One of them's for not safe for work content. And I don't really, I don't want people that are not old enough to read that. God forbid you get traumatized. <laughs> you can find them both on my card. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think it's like... I man How did I manage to get the shape right before, but not now? Anyway, but I, I guess if you want to check out my AO3 stuff, you can. Uh, I used to write a lot of Hollow Knight stuff, and I probably still will at some point. Like, I'll probably write more of it. But at the moment, I'm working on fucking Hasbun Hotel fanfics. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. 
I'm writing a lot of them. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, there's an FAQ in the description. Fuck, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, no, when I was a child, when I was a child, I was obsessed with has -been. I had, like, a six-month, uh, I would call it, because I, I, I like to, like, there's, like, stages of hyperfixation for me there's there's hyperfixation which generally is lasts from 1 to 3 months and then there's special interests which go on longer than that um and i would say has been it kind of falls into the genre of sleeper agent uh it was once a special interest and now it's come back full force um and i can't I- there's nothing I can do about it, so it's probably gonna be a special interest. I don't know how long it will last, but it's been over a month and I can't stop thinking about it, so it's probably gonna be a while, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I'm- I'm writing a lot of has-been stuff. Mostly all in one contained continuity, so... Uh, but there's also porn, so like I j just don't read that if you're don't read that if you're a kid. <laughs> don't traumatize yourself. <laughs> don't do that to your little brains. <laughs> Hold on. What's my opinion on Blonde Twink Whisper? Um, he's my favorite. So I'm mostly, I'm mostly gonna be writing about him, sort of. Mostly. <laughs> um... Oh, based Luke Gremlin liking frogs. Um, my I have a s special interest that's pretty uh, consistent. It's never stopped. It's marine biology. I'm obsessed with it. But it's like a it's like a like a side side one. It's like one that's kind of like it's it's like art. You know, for me, it's like it's art. Kind of the same vibe. <laughs> no, damn! Don't bring up the black diamond meme. Fuck. Don't, don't you dare. diamond meme and whatnot um and one of my okay so like apparently my uh, my my sibling he has this friend group right 
and one of his friends is apparently a fan of my, mine, and apparently he got on the stream right as I was saying the Black Diamond meme, right as it happened, and I'm in, like, a, a, like a mutual server with this person, and then they brought it up to me, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I the, the one when I said the, the, the thing about Lucifer when I used the black diamond meme and said it about Lucifer. Um. <laughs> and that person, the fuck, they like talked to me and they said that they just clicked on right as I was saying that. Oh no. Shaking and crying. Oh. oh wait, hold on, I didn't get this beautiful here. <laughs> Glad to know you thought it was amazing, Jeremy. <laughs> Glad to know! <laughs> so happy about it. But anyway, I guess I um, I guess uh, 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 now now uh, wait, who was asking me about Lucifer before? Jasper days. Now you know my opinions about Lucifer. <laughs> if you look up the Black Diamond theme. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry if you can hear my dog outside, he's angry. I do shut up! Piece of shit, dog. Shut the fuck up, Kiri. He never does, though. Jasper Day says, My friend is a short blonde person of ambiguous gender. I'm trying so hard to convince them to be Lucifer for Halloween. Oh, man. Oh, God. I should be Lucifer for Halloween. If I could make costumes, I would. It would, it would be kind of a funny bit. Sorry, I'm a five... I'm a five five uh, fucking pasty white boy. I think I could pull off the costume pretty well. <laughs> uh... I'm not blonde though. That's that's. I would have to get a wig, because I am not dyeing my hair blonde. I was blonde once though. I was platinum blonde as a child. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Kaiju does sound loved. I really love this fuck ass dog. I mean, he's awful actually, but I love him. <laughs> he's the worst. But I'm glad that I have a baby. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Are you dating? You have- you unironically have the Alex hair just without the bob. Oh, like the front bit? Okay, thank god! I- Okay, Kurt's confession, guys. So, I was in 7th grade, and I had the exact same haircut 
that Alistair does, Bob included, uh, but it wasn't like that short in the back, it was an angled bob. Um, and it actually did have tips that were dyed. Uh, this was before I was in the has been, by the way. Like, this uh, this was before I knew what it was. Uh, I just happened to have this haircut as a small middle schooler, and the tips, like, because I'm, I'm naturally a, a brunette, or a... What's the male version of brunette? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what the male version of brunette is, but I'm I'm brown haired naturally, and it and it's kind of dirty dishwater color. It went from like dirty dishwater blonde to dirty dishwater brown, uh, but like I had like dyed red tips, so I had that I had that fuck ass bob. I actually did, and I think about that so much. I'm like, wh why? <laughs> but it was never gross and shaved, and it didn't have a fucking it didn't have the stupid undercut. Yeah, fucking Alistair's fuck ass bob, it's so bad, I hate it! <laughs> it's so bad. Why? <laughs> Ew! It's just, it's it's brunette. Is it brun is it still pronounced brunette or brunette? <laughs> Oh, yours is like it's red and black. The top is red. The bottom layers are black, just with my. Oh, okay. So you. Oh, so you just have the colors. Okay. That is based. Katie Killjoy does slay. No! Brunei! <laughs> Bobbing! Oh, sup, sup, Kaz. I just looked over. I haven't, I haven't been looking at the chat for a bit. <clears throat> sup, homies. Oh, everybody's just talking about husband now. Sick. <laughs> but yeah, no, I decided to write lots of fan fiction, and I have a lot of ideas. So I don't know how long. I just decided I'm just gonna go as long as I'm entertained by doing it. Which might be a very long time, who the fuck knows. I'm normally kind of slow when it comes to writing, but I did write like, what, 16,000 words in total in like less than a month? Uh, over the, the two things that I wrote, so I, I, it, probably, it probably will go by. Like, I'll probably just be doing that for a while. 
I'm having I'm having a I'm having a ball. I'm 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 balling. Fuck it, we ball. Forty-six minutes. Honestly, fan fan fiction is a religion. That's based. <laughs> that's that's a very correct statement. more fan fiction. I'm kind of a picky git, so like some of it just doesn't appeal to me. And also I'm generally kind of busy, so I, I don't read a lot of fan fiction. I, I wish I had more time to. I used to when I was a kid though, like I would spend a lot a lot of a lot of time reading it. Sorry, I'm too busy watching <laughs> Girl Hell 1999, Women's Flesh My Red Guts to read fanfiction. <laughs> Doing normal things with my time instead. From Jasper Days. Oh my god, Rob, what's your opinion on Angel and Husk? I'm assuming you're asking about the, the ship. Um, I like it, but I personally like it more, like, platonic. Uh, I do plan to write Husker Dust content, actually, uh, but I, I, but I kind of want it to be, like, more platonic, uh, non- like, they're- I just- I- I like them as a- I like them as a couple, but I don't really like them in, like, a- I- like a sexual context. And so, you know, I, I think I, I I think that it's neat for them to be like just to be be kinda gay, but like more like more like a how do I describe it? their relationship is platonic to me. Romantic but not sexual. Oh hello to Squishable Moon. Welcome to the stream. From Jasper Days, uh, it's not a, it's not queer platonic because it's they're neither of them are arrow. But the, anyway, I, it, it just the, per, go, going into personal head canons here. I, I've decided I kind of want to write Husk as um, Ace, so I, I think that it's kind of interesting if they were to have a like a a, a romantic relationship that's just not sexual. So it's not queer platonic because it's not an a romantic relationship, but um. It is, it is an ace one. I think that's it. Uh, 
Um. What uh, from Phobia? What, what's your opinion on Sil song so far? It isn't out, is it? It's not out. I don't. I don't think it's out. Uh. So I don't have any opinions on it. I'm reserving my opinions until it comes out, but I will play it. I will play it when it comes out, but I might wait. Um, I'm purposely- because I, I, I'm working on things, I'm making things, so I have to purposely, like, not s subject myself to new media. God forbid I switch hyperfixations. <laughs> I don't think that will happen because I recently rewatched The Umbrella Academy and didn't get any, like, twinge of- <laughs> You know, when, when- you know the feeling when a new hyperfixation comes on? But I, I don't want my attention to be sidetracked, so if Silk Song comes out soon, I'll probably like wait on playing it, but I will play it. Oh. Yeah, from Switchable, Switchable Moon. Yeah, keeping it keeping it romantic, but not lewd. Yep, I, I like that vibe. I just I like it. I I think it's I think it's sweet. I think it's sweet as like kind of a mentorship kind of relationship, but like romantic. I like it. Nice. <laughs> Husk is be best wet cat man. Agree. <laughs> he is such a wet cat. Oh god, he's such a he's such he's so Garfield like in terms of cat characters. I I, I love I love him. <laughs> barking. I don't know how that dog doesn't get tired of that. Whatever, man. <laughs> Fuck us, though. People could just ask me my opinion on ships, and I and I will give them <laughs> on has been hotel ships. I will give them. Oh, uh, from Luke Gremlin, rot my dude. Tell me, can thou crochet? No, I've never crocheted in my life. I can't sew either. But I have never crocheted. It looks cool, but I just never, like, that. I've never done it, so... Rot would get one of those hoodies where they're just like guts filling out, but it's just cotton or whatever. I would get one of those, but I I feel like it would like get ruined. <laughs> they're cool, but I feel like it would not last or like hold up. I do have a shirt that's pink and it has like a rainbow and a unicorn on it, and it just says alpha male. So that's that's my fashion style. <laughs> Real one. Okay, ships now. Um, Radio Dust. When I was a kid, I was a big fan of Radio Dust, but I kind of grew out of it. Uh, but I think that it's fine. Uh, I think that it kind of depends on how it's written. I think it could be cute, but I but I don't have like really strong feelings on it anymore. But as a kid, I loved Radio Dust. I will tell you that. Um, and Vox Val. I think it's also called Static Moth, if I recall. 
Um, I also used to like Static Moth as a kid, but like as an adult, I don't really have strong feelings on Vox or Valentino. I used to really like Vox as a kid, but then like his execution in the show really doesn't, he, he doesn't work for me. I think he's funny, kind of, like in, in abstract I think he's funny, but not really in execution. So, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't really have strong feelings about him or, or Valentino. Uh, so, so I just think that the ship is eh. It is there. I think it's canonical, I believe. Like, that's that's a thing that is in the show, if I remember correctly. Um. Baggy and Charlie. Uh, I, I, I like them. I think that they're cute and cool lesbians, and I wish that we got more of them being, like, a domestic couple on screen and whatnot. Uh, so I plan to write a lot of them, actually. I plan to write a lot about them because I like them and I feel like they have a lot of potential to just be a very nice couple of people. All my homies stand. We stand Baggy and Charlie. Quality lesbians. Strangeland Creations, have you seen The Last Unicorn or read the book and what do you think of it if you have? I've never read the book, but I've seen the movie several times. Specifically when I was a child, uh, my my mother was like a huge fan of the movie. So uh, we uh, like sh she like had us watch it when I was a kid. And like there's like some shit in that movie if you've ever seen it. Like holy god. If I remember correctly, there's some stuff in that movie. <laughs> but I, re I remember liking it as a kid, but it's definitely not like perfect. <laughs> If if my if memory served, it's not like great, but it's it, but it also has like some really good stuff in it. Oh my god, wait, that's- <laughs> Okay, now, I, I should- I should- I should tell everybody, um... So, anyway, uh... If you guys- if any of you guys were here for that one stream, uh, that I did a while ago, it was like two st streams ago, I believe, where I talked about the entire plot of, uh, Tusk. Uh, uh, and- <laughs> Anyway, uh, so, um, I- I ha I sh I showed Tusk to my friends, Tem and Gatorade, and um, they I spread the Tusk agenda so much that 
uh, T Tem showed his mother and father the movie. Uh, so the Tusk agenda is spreading. Everybody here should- you should pause this stream right now and go watch, uh, Kevin Smith's Tusk featuring Justin Long getting turned into a walrus and Johnny Depp doing the worst French-Canadian accent I think I've ever heard in my entire life. You should- you should go watch Tusk. Everybody should go watch Tusk right now. Or at least sometime soon. <laughs> Spread the agenda. Yeah. Fly, my children. Go watch Tusk. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh. From Mr. Symbiote. Do you think Skullets can still work? Nope. I didn't really address this in the video itself that I made about Skullets because I didn't want to cover it because the plot point was, um. Like. <laughs> the plot. The plot point, like, like was not concluded yet with regarding the Osmodian crystals, so I didn't want to talk about my feelings on it until they, like, properly concluded it and whatnot. Um, but I don't think that the Osmodian crystal thing is gonna fix the relationship. That's being- it's- it's kind of stupid, actually, to be like, well, well, you have freedom now, so you should forget about all the times that I sexually coerced you. Like, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that Stolitz is gonna work. If other people like it, then that's fine, that's their prerogative, and I'm not saying you can't like it, I don't think that you're a bad person for liking it. However, I don't think that, like, from a, like, a, a like, a storytelling standpoint, I don't think that I will ever think it is good, and I don't think that it will ever be good. That is my opinion. <laughs> on, the, on the matter. I mean, it uh, probably also doesn't help that I find Stolitz himself to be absolutely insufferable. Same thing with Blitz. I actually find them both to be utterly insufferable and awful. <laughs> I... Mm. Oh, I could watch- I, I watched more movies, guys, Jeremy, if you want to hear me, uh... Uh... Uh, if you want to hear me rant about more movies, I watched four last night. I watched four of them, and I saw th some things. I can tell you guys about it. <laughs> oh, besides that, um... Oh, Strange Land Creations, I rewatched The Last Unicorn, and now it's hyperfixation, and the movie literally has me in a chokehold. That's- that's great. I- I'm glad you're having fun with The Last Unicorn. I remember, it- it does have some really cool sequences in it, so that's based. Uh, oh, Ash thing. Uh, not a question, but I would love to hear you say fly, little maggots fly. Not gonna lie, I think that would be so funny. Okay, that's based. Fly, little maggots. Fly! <laughs> Go watch Tusk! That's all I want from you. <laughs> Gotta build up a Tusk fan base. Until my entire fan base, until all 15,500 people in my audience has seen Tusk, I haven't done my job as a YouTuber. <laughs> Maybe I should just make a whole video about Tusk. I could talk about Tusk for so long. I'll talk about it in my iceberg video. No, no, G out, no, G out. But I could make like a whole separate video on Tusk and its genius. <laughs> oh, okay. People, if other people want me to rant about some of the movies that I saw, then I will. I could, I could pop off Gorge. <laughs> Oh, uh, from Niji Doll, this is irrelevant, but did you see The Resident? No. Oh! <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should hype up- I should hype up Tem's fan art one second. Tem made fan art for Tusk, so before I go into my my other the movies that I saw, I gotta I gotta copy and paste this fan art for Tusk. So so without it, I feel like it's funnier without con a context. So Justin Long Walrus goes to the vet. There you go. Justin Long Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
gotta, I gotta hype up the fan art. You see, this, this piece of art, this piece of art was created as a celebration of Tusk. So all of you should go watch it right now. <laughs> Sometime in the near future. Enjoy it. It's it's definitely like it's a horror it's a it's a terrible movie, but I also am so in love with it. It's like terrible, but like in a, the best way. <laughs> you should see it. <laughs> the, de the, uh, the dead silence. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything. <laughs> so anyway, back to reiterate. <clears throat> Fly, my little maggots. Fly! Go. <laughs> yeah, the dead silence. Fuck. Everybody is just staring at this in, in awe. Oh, um, hold on. Question from Mr. Symbiote. Okay, different questions. Are Solis's actions forgivable? No! I don't care if he shows regret for what he's done. He's a rapist. I'm not gonna feel bad for his, his little fucking bird ass. I don't feel bad for him. He sexually coerced someone, in my opinion. And that is rape. And uh, you can't just be like, sorry, I regret that decision and make me feel bad for him. That's not how that works, in my opinion. But if you do, then I don't really care because he's a fictional character, and I don't really think that feeling sympathetic for him or forgiving him as an audience member reflects on your morals poorly. It's just my opinion. Um, and then, how come I didn't mention look my, Just Look My Way? Because I'm refusing to watch it. I actually haven't even seen the most recent episode of Hell of a Boss. I hate it so much that I don't want to watch it ever again. I don't want to watch Hell of a Boss, and I'm not going to. I don't even know if I'm gonna make another video about it or ever talk about it again. I don't like it and I don't want to think about it, so that's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, uh, from Jethro Raw, do you ever get Thin Mints, Girl Scout cookies, and then freeze them? No, not usually, but I have had, like, frozen Thin Mints. They're pretty good. Anyway, closing out the fan art, I uh, hope you enjoyed Justin Long Wallace. Okay, this is the right layer. Yeah, to Jasper Days, it's not explicit. Like, the story doesn't, like, recognize what Stolas does as rape. But, uh, essentially, he holds his, you know, power over Blitz and to force it and forces him to sleep with him, which is sexual coercion. I explain it more in my video if you want to go watch that, it will. But, um, it's, it's basically sexual assault, which is not really forgivable. At least for, for me. Uh, just for me. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't I don't blame you. TBH Hell of the Boss has never really been good, but it definitely just shot down the hill. Uh, this like w what really made me just like die was when Western Energy, which is the one that you're talking about, the episode where Luna gets the rabies shot, uh, came out. I was just like, okay, fuck this. I don't want to watch any more of this show. And then I did. I watched Unhappy Cambers and then Oops, but then I didn't watch after Oops, and I don't plan on it because I'm a hater. <laughs> I am nothing if not a hater, <laughs> and I gotta I gotta continue to be one. That's 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 just who I am. I did answer the thing with the question. Yeah. Actually, I will say that somebody said that, like, I somebody said in the comments, like, people are so for, forgiving of uh, Stolitz, uh, despite him uh, 
being basically his relationship with Blitz is very similar to Angel Dust's relationship with Valentino in the sense that I mean okay so Blitz isn't under contractual obligation or anything uh, but he is under like under um, you know an, a, a sort of agreement with Stolas their sex is transactional um, and it's not really something that he wants to do so like it's very similar in in you know in the in this in vibes but people like understand that Valentino is bad uh for doing that but then Stolas just gets a pass and he can be forgiven after one song where he shows regret Yeah, agree. It is, it is, it is kind of gross, and that's why I'm not a fan of it. It's just, it's, it is gross. And I'm a disenjoyer of it. Oh, hello, Suno Kai. Wait, shit. I don't know why your name just made me think of that. What I said is 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 uh, is Jeremy still around? I was gonna. I I, I was gonna talk about the more movies that I saw for them. <laughs> I can't remember. Jeremy, you there. Yeah, from Jasper Days. There is so much drama about Angel's Abuse, but before this I heard literally nothing about Stolas and Blitz. That's just because the show once, once, like, the, the sh has been once you to, once you to, uh, the viewer, you, to understand that Angel's situation is in unjust and not okay, and that he's suffering, but they don't have the same energy for Stolas, which is, uh, kind of indicative of, I think, a lot of things, but then, uh, But Jeremy, if you're still around, uh, I told you I would talk about more disturbing movies. <laughs> and for some reason, Sunokai's name reminded me of that. They must have been there when I was talking about it before. Okay, they're back. Okay, it's sick. I was gonna talk about more movies. <laughs> they are really out of pocket, I'm sorry. My, my, uh... My streams are fucking weird as shit. I, I I think that it's extremely funny because I feel like a lot of people think that I'm just like some some normal person, but then they see me on stream and they're like, whoa. They're like, whoa. <laughs> like, calm down. Sorry, I can't calm down. I'm a fucking weirdo through and through. It's who I am. <laughs> 
But anyway, uh, so I guess I'll, I'll tell you guys about some of the movies that I watched uh, while I was, well, since last time that I talked about them. So, uh, I think, um, I think, uh, I did, I talked about how I saw the first Vomit Gore movie. I don't know if you guys want me to describe the Vomit Gore movies. There are a lot. Let me know if you would rather me not, actually. Maybe some people would rather me never talk about that <laughs> on a stream. But I could tell you about the Vomit Gore movies if you want to know about them. I saw all three of them, uh, and they were all bad. But the, some of them had some weird shit in them, so I guess I could talk about that. Uh, other, th other things is that I'm currently working through the August Underground trilogy. I've seen the first and second one. Uh, which were both pretty bad to see. Um, so I could talk about that. Oh, or, or there's, like, a lot of, like, the really weird porn that I've seen. There's, like, so much weird porn on the on the list with, like, gore and stuff. And I saw a lot of it. Um, so there's that. <laughs> you need movie to make that happiness go away. <laughs> I, I will say that of, of the movies, I do, um, like, uh, I do, um, I, like, I do plan on making a video about the whole, like, disturbing movie tier list. I actually started watching them just kind of for myself because I was curious, like, really curious about some of the weird shit on it, um, and I kind of wanted to see it, uh, but then I, like, realized that of, like, the people that covered the Disturbing Movies Iceberg back when it was kind of a thing on YouTube, like, a couple years ago, I believe, like, most people did, like, a lot of kink shaming, or they didn't really go into the movies, and they didn't, like, recommend any of them. They didn't talk about, like, would you like this from, like, a weirdo standpoint, and I'm a fucking, like, weirdo. Like, look, man, I I'm into some weird shit. Uh, so, you know, I'm here for, for that, that strangeness, and I bet that there's a lot of people that, like me, who would like a lot of the stuff on the tier list. So I thought to myself, uh, as I was watching through these, like, what if I did a video on them where I didn't kink shame people, and I just talked about what was on tiers 1 through 5, which are just, it's, it's just mostly all fake things, uh, and, like, actually go through them and tell you what's in them, like, for realsies? And, uh, like, recommend them or don't recommend them. <laughs> so, uh, most of them I would not recommend. M mostly. I mean, hmm. I, I would recommend some of them to some people, but most of them I wouldn't really recommend. <laughs> um, but, uh, I'm, I'm actually finding a lot of hidden gems. I'm finding a lot of quality. So, I, I will say that of the Disturbing Movies Iceberg. It is surprising me with some some stuff that is quality. Uh, I did I did super duper, like, tear up at the end of life and death of a porno game, which I did not expect. Like, how is, a, like, a movie like that gonna make me emotional? But it made me emotional, so I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, I love when we find hidden gems. <laughs> so I do plan on going over all of the stuff uh, in, in an actual video. <laughs> but uh, for now, I could just talk about some of the weirder stuff. Um, like, I, I guess I, I guess I could talk about um, what else? What could I talk about that's like normal? So, uh, some of them are a little bit too. Hmm. Um. Oh, I could I could tell you guys about the <laughs> the the <laughs> the bottled vulva movies. <laughs> That one's pretty great. I love that one. Um, so, ba basically, there's this series of movies that in the U.S. it's called Eccentric Psycho Cinema for some reason, but like the the Japanese title because it's a it's a Japanese film series is called Bottled Vulva. Uh, so that sounds pleasant. And basically, the the whole bit is that it there's like this serial killer guy, I believe his name is Takashi, and like the whole bit of it is like each of the movies are, are these sort of like 
like weird like horror erotica where like he lures um he lures in uh women to like his apartment and whatnot and then he like ties them up and then he does some like non-consensual bdsm to them and then at the end of it at the end of it he like he he cuts off their vagina and like shows it to them and like puts it into a jar and keeps it and i believe that there are three of these movies uh but i could only find one of them online and i did watch it uh and th this one was the first one called bank teller noriko and uh it was not very good i thought i was gonna like it but then it wasn't very good i was kind of disappointed by it um I think what I want to say about it is that there's this bit near the end where, <laughs> so, I, it was not translated into English, but I'm, I was, I'm fluent enough in Japanese to, like, vaguely understand what, like, was being said, and I'm pretty sure that the main killer guy has, like, mommy issues or something, because he, he kept calling, like, the girl, Noriko, like, his mother, and at the end, there's this bit where, like, she's tied up, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And he, um, like, goes across the room, right? And, like, goes to this body bag. And, uh, he- he goes to this body bag, and he- he, um, he- <laughs> he, uh, he opens it up, and it has his mother in it, I think, based on what was being said. Um, <laughs> and he takes out, like, a handful of, like, blood and- flesh from the mother body bag and then he like walks back over the girl Noriko he's t he has tied up and then he like rubs the blood all over her and like forces her to eat some of it and I was just like what? <laughs> oh holy shit I was like wow that's kind of a that's that might be the best thing I've ever seen actually <laughs> uh so that was pretty that was pretty good that was- I- bottled Volvo 1, 10 out of 10. I'm- I'm joking, actually. It was mostly kind of boring. It could have been better. Um, I kind of liked the concept, but then the execution was kind of boring. Like, the BDSM wasn't even good. Like, come on. You could do better than that. The cowards. <laughs> and also, like, what do you mean, Jeremy? These movies sound genuinely good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Borge? I wouldn't recommend Bottled Vulva to anyone, mostly because it's boring, and it only really gets good in, like, the last 15 minutes. And there's not even any sex in it. Like, fucking cowards. Cowards. <laughs> if you want to watch it, I- how old are you? If you're not an adult, don't watch any of these. Uh... But if you are an adult, then might I recommend to you My Chan's Daily Life. Uh, I could talk about My Chan's Daily Life, the movie, forever, I think. Um, it genuinely changed my brain chemistry. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. So, apparently it's based on a, uh, on a, yeah, actually, watch My Chan's Daily Life or Tusk. If you're a child, you can watch Tusk, actually. That one's based. Um, but don't watch My Chan's Daily Life unless you're an adult. How dare you, random person whose name I can't really read. Tusk is not stinky. Tusk is a masterpiece. <laughs> Get some taste, Borge. Fucking go outside, touch some grass, and, you know, learn how to appreciate quality movies, girly pop. <laughs> but anyway... But back to- back to, uh, My Chan's daily life. Basically, like, apparently it's based on this manga, which I was gonna read, but then I did some googling, and apparently it has, like, minors. Like, My Chan is, like, 17, and then there's, like, an 11-year-old boy, and there's, like, terrible, bad stuff. Um, oh, you're an adult? Uh, okay. Well, then- then- then you could probably- then you can watch these, I guess, if you want to. Might I recommend Tumbling Doll of Flesh? I I'll, get I'll go over that one in a second one, but for, um, uh, <laughs> but, uh, My Chan's Daily Life, basically the whole bit is that it's, like, this- this maid girl who- My Chan, who works for these rich people, and she just, like, gets cut up 
like she she can like regenerate from any injury so they they just cut her up and then she regenerates and then they cut her up again and i was like wow this kind of this is kind of like my kink and it is my kink uh and in the movie um <laughs> and in the movie uh there's like a lot of sexual cannibalism which is also my other kink so i was like wow that's pretty good um and <laughs> So I gotta I gotta describe this movie. So basically, there's Mai Chan. She's the maid working for these like rich people that keep cutting her up, right, and also eating her. And then there's this new girl that kind of comes in, and she's like applies to be a maid there, but she's unaware of what's going on. Like she doesn't know about Mai Chan's like regeneration powers. So when she goes there, she like sees uh like them like stab out um. Mai Chan's eye, like she she kind of like watches it from the doorway, like the the new girl watches like the like the head maid like stab out Mai Chan's eye and just eat it like a gusher, um, and she and instead of being like holy holy God, like oh no they're hurting Mai Chan, this is so bad, she's actually like, you know what I think I'm in love with Mai Chan and I also want to cut her up and do bad things to her, so. At the end of the movie, the 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 new girl, new maid girl, uh, like they call Mai Chan into a literal red room, like it's a room that's like painted red, and so she takes this like the other maid girl, she takes a chainsaw, and she gut fucks Mai Chan open with the chainsaw, and then she pulls out her innards and eats them, and then they lady and the tramp her insides, and I was like. Holy fuck! That's awesome, bro. Bro, like that's so. Mm. Ah, that that's the best thing I've ever seen. I think. You know, I was kind of obsessed with that. Oh, and then there's another scene where the new maid girl like comes up to Mai Chan and then like tongue kisses her, but then she like bites off Mai Chan's tongue while they're tongue kissing, and like wow, I was like, I love this movie, and it's a terrible movie. It's awful. The acting is so bad. It's it it might be one of the worst movies that I've ever seen like 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 actually quality wise, but like the effects are actually kind of all right and like it's just so bad shit. Um I would recommend that you watch it if you're an adult and you want to see that. If you want to see My Chan's daily life, it might it might change your daily life. You know, I would recommend that one. That one, I it kind of gave me some ideas. I was like, wow, I'm I'm kind of into. That. It's My Chan's daily life, the movie. Don't watch the. Don't look up the manga. The manga has like Shoda and Lolly in it. Don't don't. But like the movie is fine. <laughs> It's without that kind of content. <laughs> you can watch it on effed up movies if you want to. Uh, I mean, what did I say? I didn't encourage pirate pi pirating it. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, mm, I never said anything. I'm a good law-abiding citizen of the United States of America. What do you mean, is it possible in real life? What do you mean? I, what do you mean is it possible in real life? I, I, you mean like, can people just do that? No, they can't regenerate, but can you bite off somebody's tongue? Probably you can bite your own finger off, actually. You can like, bite somebody's face off if you wanted to. And also, what is biohazard? Like, what do you mean? I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, pirating is bad unless you don't get caught, and then it's great. Pirating is pirating is uh, uh, wonderful unless unless uh, unless you get caught. <laughs> Dumb ear dragon. 
Why am I watching this? I'm not even 18. You don't have to be 18 to watch my streams. I said you had to be 18 to watch any of the movies that I'm talking about. Especially as you get lower. Uh... <laughs> I have more movies I could talk about. I watched Girl Hell 1999 and also Women's Flesh My Red Guts last night. Oh, and I also was gonna say I was gonna talk about Tumbling Doll of Flesh, too. I guess I, if you wanted to watch something like Bottled Vulva, then like Tumbling Doll of Flesh or Women's Flesh My Red Guts would probably be your like options. Uh, besides just watching the Bottled Vulva movies, uh, but I would, like, if I was gonna recommend any of them, like, Tumbling Doll of Flesh is probably the best of them, but it's not great. And also, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look into it, um, <laughs> I wouldn't look into it. I wouldn't look on, into it, into it for most people, but, uh, Basically, to, um... Uh, honestly, I find, I find that, like, it, it, to Glitchy Chaos, it, it, it is pretty normal to want to hear about messed up shit. Uh, I feel like there's kind of a, like, there's a difference between just wanting to know about it and wanting to see it. And I decided that I wanted to see it, but I wouldn't recommend that decision for most people. If you're a sane man, would not recommend any of this, actually. If you're fine, then don't, don't mess it up. But it is pretty interesting. I, I do find it incredibly intriguing. Um, I don't I don't have any desire to see any of the real content of like people are uh, people being harmed. That's not really my thing. But uh, I know that it's out there, and there are a couple of movies that have like real animal violence in them that I saw. Um, like I saw Cannibal Holocaust a while ago, uh, and there's like so much real animal death in that movie. That was bad to see. <clears throat> yeah, it's not weird that you like to read about foreign violence, but don't like to see it. There's- I love true crime, and I love hearing about violent crime, but I have no desire to go out and, like, see videos of people being harmed. Uh, I think that's very normal to want to know about it, but not want to, like, engage with stuff of that nature. Yes, Tetsuo the Iron Man was actually on the iceberg, so I saw it a while ago. I thought it was neat. It was kind of artistic and cool. I have seen Tetsuo the Iron Man. It had some really cool body horror in it. Oh, uh, by the way, your art is awesome. Just started watching you today. Thank you. I'm glad that you like my art. For some reason, one of my older videos started doing really well, and now people keep subscribing, and I keep getting comments, and I'm like, uh... I should probably make more content, but I really don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm depressed. <laughs> well, it's less that I'm depressed and more that I just don't want to. I, I have other things. Oh, yes! I've been talking about the, um, the disturbing movies Iceberg the whole time. Because I decided to watch all the movies on it. So, that's, that's, what, that's why I know about these movies. Um. But, oh, right, I was gonna talk about freaking I was gonna freaking talk about Tumbling Doll of Flesh. I keep getting distracted. So, Tumbling Doll of Flesh is, in fact, a pornography, so don't don't watch that one unless you're 18 plus, uh, because it is actually a porn. Uh, but basically it's, uh, like, about this girl named Kana who gets- she's, like, a porn actress, and she gets hired by this guy to, like, do some BDSM on camera. But then things kind of slowly get out of hand, and Kana tries to leave. So then the- the guy, like, knocks her out, and then they- then they, like, they kind of- they, uh, do some bad things to her. They- they do some bad things. They, uh, they- they do some- they do some, um, stuff to her. They, uh, they cut off her leg and her arm, and then, like, they, like, mangle her tongue, I believe. And then they cut a hole, like, it- like, kind of, like, right beneath her, like, chest, like, kind of in her stomach-ish. 
And then uh, the guy had uh, like they kind of disembowel her a bit, but then the the guy like the guy he has a uh, he has a uh, he 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 uh hmm. how do I say this in a normal way he he has uh, he do, he does a he does a sex with the open wound. He do, he does sure he does sure yep he does sure have a sex with the open wound. He does do that. He does have sex with the the disemboweled stomach. And you see it uh, um and it was a, sure a thing that I saw and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was just watching it at like 9 p.m. like, "Okay." Wait, what is the background music? Oh, it's- it's- <laughs> it's the Hollow Knight soundtrack. <laughs> That's even funnier. It says it's Fall Knight. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so there's that movie. Um, I guess you could watch Tumbling Doll of Flesh if you wanted. The guy who made that movie also made Women's Flesh, My Red Guts, which I watched yesterday. Um, and, uh, basically this- th that movie is about this woman who gets, like, dumped by her, her boyfriend or husband? I don't know, it's not exactly explicitly said. And in response, she just- she kind of just starts mutilating herself. So it's basically, uh, self-mutilation. Like, this woman self-mutilating herself, but it's, like, sexualized. Uh, so, like, the, she- she, like, she- <sighs> Tana Mojo style fucks herself with a toothbrush. And then blood, um, scooshes everywhere. Um, and, um, <laughs> and then she bites off her finger, and then it, and then it cuts, and then it cuts, and she's, and then it, <laughs> it cuts to her, and she's eating an apple with a fork. She's eating an apple with a fork! I, I think about this, I was thinking about this, like, all night last night. Like, why was she, who eats an apple with a fork? What the, I... <laughs> It made me really upset. I was like, why? But she's eating this apple with this fork, right? And then she uses the fork and stabs herself in the leg and then sort of like licks the blood off of it. And then she slices her wrist open and licks the blood off the knife that she used for that. And then she cuts open her stomach and then eats her own entrails and we see that. But like the effects for it is, are really bad. I said that it kind of looked like like, they just, like, put, like, some cherry jello in a bunch of condoms and then strung them together. Like, that's how bad the effects for the innards were. Um, and then she eats those. She does some self-cannibalism. And then she stabs herself in the forehead, and that was that movie. <laughs> so, uh, I would not recommend that one over Tumbling Doll Flesh because it was, like, way more boring. I mean, like, there's, like, some interesting stuff in it, I guess, but, like, the effects aren't also aren't as good. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. You, uh, people might not know this. Don't call me girl. That's just that's just... But I, but I have not been more traumatized than when that woman ate the apple with a fork. But I'm a dude, by the way. but I've never been more traumatized. True pain has never been felt. Yeah, I know, right? It's so fucking weird. The, 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 when, the, like, I, you know, me, like, my face when she was, like, having, she was fucking herself with that toothbrush and her vagina was just scooshing blood, I was just like, okay, this is normal, but she ate, she ate, a she ate a goddamn apple with a fork? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> that, no, that's, that's a step too far, Gorge. That, that is a step too far, hunty. I'm not a fan of that. Oh wait, Loot Gremlin, are you an adult? I I'll tell you if you're if you're an adult. Cause I do we don't want people to like minors to subject their brains to that. <laughs> what's your nouns from just for <laughs> What's your what's my nouns? Uh my pronouns, he him, not they them. I I don't I don't do they them at all. I mean if you don't know them and like 
like n know my pronouns and say they them then i don't mind but like if you know my pronouns don't use they them for me i don't like it it's he him only not he they he he him God damn it, I can't wait to get testosterone so that my voice starts sounding deeper and I don't have to keep correcting people. <laughs> God, I, I hate my voice so much. Mm. I hate it. <clears throat> but but yeah, seriously, the, the the fucking apple with the fork. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna get over that. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in any of these movies, dude. I would. Nah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, slay, slay transgenderism. Yeah, the worst trauma is that dang fork and that fucking apple. What the fuck? Weirdest thing I've ever seen, I think. Boar. I also want peppermint drama and testosterone. <laughs> yeah, but these, yeah, these movies, bruh. I, I they go burr burr. They go burr burr, man. If you want to get traumatized by Fork Apple, the movie is Women's Flesh, My Red Guts. Uh, oh, also there's like porn in it, so don't watch it if you're an adult. I mean, I mean it's sort of porn because it, it's like self-cannibalism porn with like self-mutilation. But it's not like- it, it is sexual in there. I think that there is like a little bit of nudity, but like, it, it just don't- like, you know. But if you just want to see the Fork Apple, I believe it's like 20 minutes in or something. Oh yeah, right, I will say of these movies that if you guys, any of you guys decided to go down the disturbing movies iceberg and watch all of these, a lot of them have piss in them, and I wasn't warned about some of it, so like, just saying, there's like piss in some of them. So, just just warning people, like, you, like I didn't, like, because the, the Vomit Gore trilogy, like, in the first one, there wasn't piss, and then in the second one, there was piss. And then in the, like, in the second one, there's this whole bit where, like, the girl, like, she, like, there's this woman, and she, like, pisses into a cup for, like, a full 30 seconds, and then she dr drinks from the cup, and then she pukes up the piss, and then in the third one, there's, like, so much piss. So, like, some of these just have piss in them. And just, I, uh, just warning. Like, the fork apple thing, it starts with her, like, sh stabbing an apple with a fork repeatedly, and then, like, she, like, like, peels the apple with the knife that she has, and then she, like, eats the apple, like, with the fork. But yeah, I would recommend not watching a lot of the stuff on it without, like, look looking into a lot of it, because a lot of it just has piss in it. 
Like, I, I got a piss jump scare when I was watching The Taming of Rebecca yesterday. Uh, piss jump scare. Um, so, like, just, just saying. Um, also, sometimes there's shit, too. So, there's that. Uh, just note that, um, you might want to, yeah, look into what you're watching before you watch it, because sometimes there's a piss jump scare. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, okay. oh, okay, so you're an adult moot gremlin? Okay. So, let me just say, uh, here, I'll just type, I'll just type it in the chat. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, um, it's gonna, for the, for the apple, for the apple fork. And it's it's called Women's Flesh by Red Guts. I think it's about 20, 20 minutes into it or something like that. Uh, you you just need to skip until like it, it switches from the scene in the bathroom to the scene where like the woman is like in like some sort of like weird leotard thing and she's like sitting in like this weird room. Uh, and then, so, to, uh, Loot Gremlin, if you're an adult, the movie is like, the one with, like, the, the, uh, tongue uh, biting. Uh, the tongue biting and, like, the, 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 the entrails eating it's my Tron's daily life the movie and you can find it on You can find it on F. You can actually find both of these on F. Up movies. You can find you can find both the apple eating, and you can find the uh, the the my Chan's daily life. You can find both. So if you want a bad time, you can watch those ones. I suppose you can find most of the movies that I was mentioning on there actually. fun watching them, TBH. Like, a lot of people are like, they're so bad, like, they're really fucking bad, and nobody should ever watch them, and I was like, I don't think children should see this, certainly. And, like, a lot of people would probably be very upset, but I'm, like, vibing. I'm having the time of my life. Mostly. I mean, I didn't like some of them. Some of them are not good. Like, I was kind of mad after I finished a Serbian film, not gonna lie. But, um, you know, most of them are, most of them are quality. And I've definitely, like, 
because of the iceberg, I found, like, movies that are on my top ten favorite movies of all time, like Tideland and Martyrs. Some of my favorite movies of our, all time, and I never would have seen them if I didn't watch the iceberg, like, videos about the iceberg or had ever seen it, so. Just, ah, quality. Anyways, I could I could go on longer about movies if you want me to. drawing program do you use? Tam, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking me! I thought you were asking me as a joke because everybody asks me that. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's a, a, a dumb, dumbass moment. asking me because I thought it, you were making a joke because everybody always asks me that even though it's in the description of every single one of my videos so I thought you were joking. Never mind. Small gamer moment. Or small brained gamer moment. Excuse me. <laughs> you saw the fork thing? Okay, please. You, you now know what I mean. Why? <laughs> what? You- you saw the fork thing. Oh my god, thank you for seeing that. And now we can both be like, what the f- What the ass cracker was that? Mm -mm. Why? Yeah, exactly! What the fuck? Why a fork? Why is she eating an apple with a fork? You just- you just- the more you think about it, the more angry it makes you. I'm just like, why? <laughs> Curly Pop, why? Wait, Luke Gremlin, are you thanking me? If so, why? Well, what are you thanking me for?
G glad to have traumatized you, glitchy chaos, with fucking fork. The fork thing. been streaming. I've been going for almost two hours and I barely made any progress on this because I was explaining the plot of fucking <laughs> the fucking bottled vulva movies. <laughs> and the fucking women's flesh my red guts. Ah. Classic. No, I haven't seen Invincible before. I, it, it, like, if you have to ask me, like, have you seen this thing, I, the answer is probably no. I only really watch weird, obscure shit. Like, I couldn't tell you everything about M.D. Pope, but I can't tell you shit about, like, Avengers. <laughs> I only know about weird, obscure things. Kind of, kind of uh, similar to, like, even, like, IRL shit. Like, I can tell you about, like, really fucked up tr true crime or historical events, but I can't tell you anything about celebrity gossip. It's just who I am. Nope, haven't seen Hellraiser. I haven't seen most things. I only know weird, obscure shit. Sorry. <laughs> and I think that it's funny if I keep it that way. <laughs> Sorry, I can't- I can't tell you about, um... Uh, the latest blockbuster, but I can tell you everything that happens in slow torture puke chamber. That's just who I am. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody did draw him as a peel bird! <laughs> Um... Ever seen Dune or Dune 2? No. Don't plan on it either. And I have not seen Angry Birds or Angry Birds 2 and I'm not gonna watch it either. You can't- you can't make me. My mom used to make me watch, like, the popular things that I should know about. Like, she made me watch Star Wars, like, the, the three prequels and then, like, the main series. I, I haven't seen any of the Disney ones. And then she also made me watch, like, the full Lord of the Rings series and also the Hobbit movies. Uh, and also Game of Thrones. But, like, I realized as I was watching those that even though there was some stuff that I liked in all three of those series... It's like, I don't really care about popular media that much, and, like, slogging through eight seasons of Game of Thrones was like, ugh. So, you know, I just don't really engage with media unless I'm, like, genuinely interested in it. You're, you, you can't just be like, oh, well, you, you haven't seen this thing? You should watch it, because I don't really care. And there are also some things that I will never watch just out of pure spite. Like Stranger Things. Fuck you, I'm never gonna watch Stranger Things. No matter how good it apparently is, I'll just never watch it because I revel in being a contrarian and the concept doesn't interest me. So, sorry, Gorge. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, no, I didn't watch the prequels first. I watched the main series first, and then I, um, and then I watched, uh, the, uh, the, like, I watched the main series and then the prequels, but I, I did watch all six of them. Um. Yeah, it's my persona. <laughs> Toothbrush too. I'm so sorry if you saw the bit with the toothbrush. <laughs> Gonna cry. Wait, you you did see the bit with the toothbrush, or you just saw the apple thing? Okay, cool. Great, just the apple. I hope that makes your life slightly worse. Hope seeing that just makes you slightly more... Was it like 20 minutes in? Was I right about that? I feel like I was right about that. It's great. <laughs> yep, apparently it was the fucking 20 minutes in. That's great. I'm so glad that everybody saw that. I just I'm I'm glad. No, she doesn't stab- she stabs, like, the apple, like, with the fork a few times. Um, she- she- she does stab the apple with the fork, uh, but then she- but then she, like, cut- like, peels the apple with a knife, and then she fucking, like, cuts- like, she uses the fork and eats the apple with it. It's like the- I hate it. It's- <laughs> Like, she, like, she, she just kind of, like, peels the skin, like, she first stabs it a bunch of times with the fork for some reason, and then she peels off the skin, and then she eats it. Yeah. Just handing out free trauma with that fuck-ass apple. Watch at your own discretion. It will make your life slightly worse. Fork used to eat apple.
<laughs> oh, wait, I have another movie that I could talk about. So last night I watched, um, I also watched, because I watched four movies. I watched, uh, Re Taming of Rebecca, and then I watched, uh, Women's Flesh, and then I watched, uh, Girl Hell 99, and then August Underground Boredom. Um, but, uh, the, the, of the, of the ones, uh, fucking Girl Hell 1999, I actually kind of, like, liked it, and I was shocked. So unlike a lot of the other stuff that I'm watching, it wasn't actually, like, a porn. Every, uh, like, you know, everyone, uh, like, it, it was, it was a, a movie with a plot and characters, and it wasn't a pornography. So I was kind of impressed. I was like, wow, that's kind of a thing that I haven't seen for a bit. Uh, and I wouldn't say it was good. Hell no. It wasn't a good movie, but there was, like, some very good elements in it, and I kind of liked it. But one scene that is never gonna leave my brain is this scene where this guy kidnaps this girl, and, she, and he ties her up in his car, and he has, like, this tube, and he puts the tube into her urethra, and then he drinks her piss. Like, he, like, sucks it up through the, through the tube. Ah, classic. That was instant classic. A classic. That's never going to leave my brain, I don't think. Uh, wow. <laughs> exactly. You said Tusk was bad. I think that's free clearance for everybody in the chat to hate you. So, so <laughs> I like the concern in the chat at the fucking the fucking piss tube thing. That was crazy. I was like, holy god. <laughs> that man is so strong. Uh yeah. Girl Hell 1999 has a scene where a guy kidnaps a girl, ties her up in his car, and then sticks a tube into her urethra and drinks her piss out of the straw. And he's, like, really into it. Like, he's, like, grinning up a storm. And she's, she's like, so terrified. It's, it's, it was, like, really hilarious and also incredibly disturbing and upsetting. So, like, there's that. I was kind of, I was kind of there for that one. That was, that one was great. That, uh, you know what? Girl Hell 1999. That's a good one. If you, if you want a weird time, watch Girl Hell 1999. <laughs> for kids but you're explaining them in detail because explaining them isn't gonna traumatize anyone <laughs> and i mean i'm not explaining the whole plot of girl hell 99 1999 because there's a lot more stuff in there that's like probably like way worse than the catheter thing but like the catheter thing with the piss is gonna like live in my brain <laughs> uh i mean i'm just saying that you shouldn't see this stuff if you're a minor Hearing about it is probably, like, fine in passing, but, like, d don't engage with this content if you're a child. That would probably do some bad things to your brain. <laughs> probably. I don't know. It's, I, I'm, it's like, you know... The, the catheter thing? Is it possible to do it to a guy? Yeah, men can get catheters. You just put it in the pee hole. Yeah, it would be more easy. Thank you, Ken. Good! <laughs> Just 
Just g good to good to uh, Dem Demir Dragon. Don't seek any of this stuff out. I wouldn't recommend it for like most people. I mean, I'm a weird gore man, but like most people aren't weird gore men, right? Like most people are like normal. They're, most people are normal ass people that probably wouldn't wouldn't want to see this. I'm just a fucking weirdo. Like I I started out I started out the whole iceberg like explaining each of the movies to my mother, and I don't know if she would let me get past the, like, at, like, she didn't, she refused to let me explain the Vomit Gore trilogy, trilogy to her, and I don't know if she would, like, allow me to explain the, the piss urine catheter thing without telling me to leave. <laughs> Oh, bye, Jeremy. I hope you, I hope you guys I hope you are vibing. Farewell. Nice seeing you, homie. Yeah, no, I'm a fucking weirdo. I I I'm a deranged psychopath. I think actually. Yeah, I would- uh, yeah, Blinchy Cats, I would keep the last of your sanity. Um, I- I wouldn't recommend diving in unless you're prepared, man. Just, you know... Hmm. I am utterly fascinated, and a couple of them work for me. Some of them appeal to my very specific fetishes. So I'm like, wow, this is great. Uh, but then most of them are, like, bo boring or weird or upsetting. Kind of. So, like, you know... I wouldn't recommend them for most people, but some people, ooh, some people. You, if you're a weirdo freak like me... <laughs> Opinions on cannibalism? I have a cannibalism king. That's something that I talked about on a previous stream. I was just honest because Decay of Brain Cells called me out. Um, I didn't remember saying that I had a cannibalism kink publicly, uh, but apparently they knew. Maybe I mentioned it on Tumblr or something, but I think about that a lot. Um, but anyway, so they called me out, and yes, I do have a cannibalism kink. Uh, don't do it in real life, but I think that it's sexy in fiction. I like the idea of eating someone, but only in a fictional setting. Only in a fictional setting. I think sexual cannibalism is kinda hot, actually. That's my opinion. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, uh, glitchy chaos. Yeah, it's like I want to see them because I'm a little sick in the head, some people say. Yeah, if you're, like, um, if you want to see them, uh, if you, if you want to see, like, the movies, then I would just recommend doing some research about what's in them first. Like, look at what's in them, like, look at the content before you just dive in. Because you might get a piss jump scare if you're unlucky. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even consensual cannibalism can be prosecuted. I mean, to be fair, the, the case that I'm specifically thinking of actually ended in a murder. Like, there was, like, this- I can't remember the exact name of the guy, but, like, they met, I believe, on some deep web website. Um, and, uh, like, this guy was like, you could cannibalize me and murder me and I would like you to do that. And then the guy was like, okay, and then they did that, and then the guy got arrested. You know. Oh yeah, you can actually can cannibalize amputated parts. There was that guy on Reddit who, like, cooked up his leg after getting it amputated and just ate it with the boys. <laughs> There's, like, pictures of it. Um, like, pictures of the leg tacos. <laughs> Blood pack to eat! <laughs> yeah, the leg taco. I think about the leg taco so much. <laughs> 
That's legal, but you can't just, like, eat people. That's not legal. I wonder if anyone else knew, knew about the, like, the deep web thing with the, with the guy who just, like, like, messaged a guy and was like, you could, like, kill me and cannibalize me, and then they were like, okay. <laughs> Does anyone know about shit like that, or is it just me? It might just be me. <laughs> just, yeah. Just another day with the homies. Okay, that's who I'm talking about? Okay. I'll have to Google that guy later. I should probably get off stream soon. My back is starting to hurt. I actually have been writing so much fanfiction that I was like hunched over my computer for so long that I have like the really this really bad knot in my back. <laughs> yeah, you did walk in on a weird day. Sorry, Iris. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I should probably stop drawing pretty s or like st stop streaming so I can lay down. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, <clears throat> probably should, probably should head out pretty soon. Uh, but, uh, I will take some final questions. Oh, uh, from Strangeland Creations. Opinion on Sanguinarians, basically IRL vampires. I don't know anything about that, so I don't know, like, the ethics of that. But if it's just people, like, consensually drinking the blood of other people, then I think that's fine. As long as they're doing it, you know, safely. Because, like, I would do that. I would drink somebody's blood if they allowed me to. It's just, like, you know, you would want to be careful about that so you don't get sick or something. Uh, but if that's all they're doing and it's, like, some sex thing, then I think that's totally chill. Well, thank you, Glitchy Chaos. I will try to take care of myself. I will. From Iris Solano, uh, what's your main inspiration for your style? Uh, mostly horror-related aesthetics and pastel goth. I just, I take from a lot of things. But mostly horror-related things, uh, with pastel goth mixed in. <laughs> Glitchy Chaos, how has that effect apple affected your life? You know, it's been one day since I saw that, and I think my life has changed for the worse significantly. That apple has ruined my life, I think. Uh, it's just awful. Terrible. I'm not a fan of the apple. Never gonna forget it, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, from, <laughs> from, uh, Loot Gremlin, you a kinky little freak? Yeah. Yes, I fucking am, yeah. I'm also a top, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I just, fun fact, I'm not a fucking bottom. Bro, no, I'm a dom, dog. I feel like most people would be surprised by that statement. But it, but it, it annoys me when people assume that I am submissive, I am not. So, sorry. Get fucked. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, what? War? Do you think that birds and pigs can coexist in a peaceful society with or without gay sex? Only with gay sex. The only peaceful societies have gay sex in them. <laughs> it's just how it works. If you're not having gay sex, then you're some sort of loser. being a kinky little freak. That's that's what you walk into. Sorry. Sorry, girly pop. <laughs> preach. I I will preach. I will preach to the to, to the skies that I'm a top. <laughs> oh, anyway, so I should probably end this stream soon. Any like legit final questions that people have for me before I before I sign off real quick and lay the fuck down? Uh, Glitchy Chaos, who's your favorite artist? Dramalja. <laughs> I'm on the road to make my gay cannibalism Angry Birds webcomic. I hope that goes well for you, my guy. That sounds very based. That's a very good pursuit. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Oh, I, I forgot to respond to this. Yes, Glitchy Chaos, uh, do bring up that apple. Just make sure to remind me about how bad that apple thing is every single time that you catch a stream. <laughs> Comment it on every video that comes out from now on, in fact. Never let me live that one down. I'll never forget the apple thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Anyway, so I'm gonna end here. Uh, this, again, does anyone have any final, quick, last questions to ask before I head out? Or nar? Should I? Should I just go? No! Don't do it on my DeviantArt. <laughs> Don't you dare spam a apples on all my DVDs. <laughs> okay, nor. Owie, my fuck ass back. So anyway, I haven't gotten all that far with this art, as you can tell, but... I will continue it, uh, and probably finish it maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, uh, and I'll put the finished version on my community tab as usual for the finished stream art. 
So anyway, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to me talk about fucking my has been hotel fanfic for what however long and then disturbing movies for even longer <laughs> uh anyway have a good good day everyone uh farewell uh, uh bye bye